pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. We already know that thinking, memory, consciousness, taste, and touch sensations aren't in the body. And now we know for sure that sight isn't there either. Is there anything left that is actually a physical function? Nope. Nothing is a physical function. It is all just represented as happening in the body. However, like the marionettes, even though it might look like it is happening in the physical form, it is all still in the non-physical energy form. Furthermore, if sight is accomplished in the energetic form, which doesn't require the physical vision system, then why do we have it in the first place? Of course, the reason is that we need a physical prop to make our physical reality more realistic. With a prop, we believe it more and therefore by the power of belief, it becomes our perceived reality. Since it all happens in the energy form, it is so much easier to change anything that you want to by just changing your thoughts and beliefs. If it were all a physical process and a real body that had to be changed, that would be hard. If everything is in the energy realm, and it is, and everything is decided and governed by meaning, and it is, can you imagine how powerful you could be using your God power to alter those meanings to whatever you want? Let me take you through the process of seeing the way it is really happening, and at the same time, we can use this as an example of how our representative system works. At the energy level, we know everything and are able to do anything that we want to. But, we wanted to have a very focused, physical feeling experience, like a travel experience. So in order to create the illusion and experience of the physical, we had to filter out everything except that which makes sense and is possible in the physical. So in the physical, we start out with the basic Animal Kingdom type program where you are only supposed to be able to see with your eyes when they are open and only certain frequencies, etc. In the physical environment, there are physical processes or the appearance of them, which are all well designed to integrate very well together. It is all designed so well that we really believe that it is real. It is very realistic. However, Unlike the animals, we were created with God power to change and alter meanings at the highest level. We can decide to see with our armpits or fingertips or in a 360 degree fashion if we want to. We can literally change the meaning of anything in our experience. Here is your first most important understanding. There is nothing in the animal kingdom that has any meaning for us whatsoever. We are gods and we can do anything that we want to. We have looked at the animal kingdom and thought that we are the same because like the animals we are born, grow old and die but nothing could be farther from the truth. Just because we act like them and do what they do doesn't mean that we are like them. We are not. We grow old and die just like animals do only because that is our belief and therefore it is the meaning we have accepted as our own. Thus, we do have an experience similar to the animal kingdom not because we have to 
but because we look at them and say, the same goes for me, and so it does. Okay, let's look at this illustration. Now we got a picture of an eyeball and a picture of a hand. Now, I know you already know this, but I wanted you to really see it graphically to see that it is absolutely a creation. It is absolutely a God power to be able to see with your fingertips. Because here you got the picture of the eye, you got the retina and the lens and the, all the optic nerves and all that kind of stuff that's supposed to be necessary to see. And as you know, it is not. And here you got a hand. You got basically bones with some skin around them. Here it says, does the light enter here? Where does the light get into the fingertips? Where's the optic nerve? Where's the photoreceptor? Where's the rods and the cones? And uh, all the retina and the lens and the iris and all of that. Where is all that stuff? Guess you don't need it. Not if you're using your God power, you don't need it. If you're accepting meanings as they are, and remember, everything has a meaning to start with, otherwise it doesn't exist. So the meaning to start with right out of the gate is, the one we're born with, is eyes see, hands touch, hands feel. Eyes see, hands feel. So as long as we accept those meanings, then we think that that is the, a fixed meaning and it can't be changed. So here it says in red, notice the drastic difference between the eye system for seeing and the fingers. There is no way that a finger can see in any physical way. If fingers can see, then our senses must not be based in the physical body. And that's true. They're not. They're only represented there. But as you can see, None of that vision system is required. The moment you raise your consciousness up and you recognize that you are a non-physical being who's got this physical representation. I mean, if you had your avatar and you were really good at programming, you could make your fingertips see on your avatar in Second Life too. You could have little eyeballs. You could have 10 of them on your fingers. Well, you know what? You can do the same thing here. You can take your representation and move things around and do anything you want. It's your representation. If you can't see by now that the body is only representing what your beliefs are about what it is, then you are going to see a whole lot more stuff. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. Okay, but you're going to see a whole lot more stuff. And it's going to be amazing stuff. Here it says, do you still think that your five senses are the actual receiver and experiencer of sensations? They are only representations of organs that represent that they do special things. But none of them are doing anything. They are only representing the sensations which are not occurring in the organ, nor in the brain not even in the body at all, but only represented there as a way to be physically realistic. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 17. Let your quest for knowing continue.